Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're going to learn about insertion sort in a linked list. So, um, you might probably know what an insertion sort is and how to make a linked list. Now, we're going to combine those two concepts and apply insertion sort to a linked list. And this is a, a pretty simple algorithm, it is not very difficult. If you know how to do insertion sort in an array, this is very trivial, but I'll still want to cover this as you know, it's it's nice to know. So okay, I'll show you the slideshow of how it works. All the prerequisites for this video are obviously you knowing how to make a linked list, and um, you basically um, knowing what insertion sort is. We'll see the code after we see the the you know the the slideshow, and I'll show you how the code works and explain line by line. So let's get on to the slideshow. So here I have two pointers. There is current and there is a, a pointer called insertion pointer. Now the insertion pointer starts from the head and goes one before the current and the current basically goes through the entire list one at a time, one element at a time at first. So first a uh, current and insertion pointer are pointing to the same element that is the head. In this case the head is four. Next what happens is I initially increment current by one which means I make current point to three and the insertion pointer is pointing to the head. Now immediately after this happens I start my conditional checking. I check is four greater than three? Well it is and if it is I need to swap it. Now I check again is three greater than four? Well it is not so I have to move further. So what I do is I increment current by one but insertion pointer remains at the head because I don't need to change it right now but you'll see how it is changing as we go through the slides. So right now I'm checking the insertion pointer data with the current pointer data. So the insertion pointer asks is three greater than one? Well as you know it obviously is. So I have to swap the values. Now it asks again is one greater than three? Well it's not. So there is no reason to swap any of it as you can see over here. Next we increment the insertion pointer by one and we bring it to four and we are like hey is four greater than three? Well it is and it has to be because that's pure mathematics and then we swap it. And now that that is swapped we check again is three greater than four? Well it's not. So we increment the current pointer by one that is we move to the next uh, link list pointer a link list uh, memory location and we reset the head uh, sorry reset the insertion pointer to point to the head and then we check again is one greater than five well unfortunately it is not so it moves to the next element in the link list now is three greater than five no it's not no four is not and then we move the current to seven and we move the pointer that is the insertion pointer to the head and then we repeat the same process again moving through the entire list checking if we can fit seven anywhere in here but we can't because seven is the largest element in the list and we just checked it that is how this entire thing works and if you thought because this is a linked list it will work any differently than it works in an array well you were wrong and it works the same so yeah let's look at the code now and uh, get over with this so in our code this is our main function and our main function basically has the housekeeping stuff to make a linked list the pushing functions and the printing list function which takes the head of the linked list the global head is a head which i declared and i call it global head because well it is global so i can access it from any function i want and then i am calling the insertion sort function and passing the global head here i'm passing the global head in order to just make the 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 function more versatile so that you know it works for multiple occasions let's go see where this function is so here is the insertion sort function and uh, okay cute is getting weird uh, so here I say void insertion sort node pointer current. So initially I passed in the head and so I'm referencing the head by the current pointer. And this is just a node pointer which means that it is a type def which doesn't mean it's a type def. I just defined it as a type def. Uh, here you have a, so the, the point of this is wherever you see node pointer just replace it with this. Uh, don't replace it right now just it, it is replaced by the compiler. So do, you don't have to worry about it. This is what it is replaced by. Okay. So yeah. So this is basically a, a pointer which points to a certain memory location of the node which we declared. This is the node in data and pointer next. So that's about it. So in the first few lines, 
all I'm doing is I am saying that there is some memory location and that memory location is obviously the head of the pointer or head of the link list sorry and the head the insertion pointer and current pointers are pointing to that particular location which is basically the head of the link list and then I do something which you saw in the PPT in the presentation in which I, I move the current pointer to the next element in the link list so it's not pointing to the head anymore it's pointing to the next element which is besides the head, the head dot next, or if, if, if you can understand that. Um, and then I basically go while a current is not equal to null, because as you know, in the linked list, we check if the next value is null so that we can move there or, you know, check conditions so that we don't fall into a segmentation fault. Um, if you have ever experienced a segmentation fault, it basically means that, or a core dump error, you, it basically means that you're trying to access information or access memory locations which are not you know which you don't own basically which you didn't create here we have the insertion pointer and we point it to the head as you saw in the presentation it always starts pointing to the head and then it goes through the list checking if the conditions are satisfied so here i'm checking while the insertion pointer is not equal to current well there's a, a flip side to this you can even check while it, next while the insertion pointer of next is not equal to current you know why? Because as you see, as you go through the presentation, you are moving over here and you check, okay, next is current, right? So you're like, okay, next is current. So I don't want to do anything. I'll just, you know, reset my entire position and I'll come back here. So that's what is exactly happening here. You point to the, you, you check if the next is current. And if it is, you, you know, you revert back to insertion equal to insertion point equal to head after current is in incremented to the next element the link list so here you're checking the, the 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 data values over here so insertion pointer of data if it's greater than the current pointer of data then you swap the values and then you check one more time so one when, when you swap the values what basically happens is you check the condition one more time this thing is incremented until you get to the point where you know it is checked again and if there are more values which are greater than it then it gets swapped again so it's basically an incremental swapping and you know so that's basically it in the entire tutorial i know this was kind of a pointless tutorial and um, for completeness basically so if you enjoyed this you probably didn't but like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this and if you didn't well still do that because i i need some motivation so thanks for watching later